Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with variable questions. So, we are going to solve the second order linear differential equation using reduction of order method in this video. So, let's get going. Problem. Solve y double dash sin square x equal to 2y given that y equal to cot x is a solution. Given differential equation, y double dash into sin square x equal to 2y. Okay, then just write the above equation as sin square x into y double dash equals to 2y. Now I'm going to write this in the standard form of second order linear differential equation form. Okay. For that purpose, I'll divide both sides of the differential equation with sine square x so that the quotient of y double dash will be unity. Then I'll get y double dash equals to 2 by sine square x into y. Then y double dash minus 2 by sine square x into y equal to 0. Here we don't have the term involving y dash, right? So I'll include a dummy variable sorry dummy term 0 y dash minus 2 y sine square x into y equal to 0 which is in standard form right just for our convenience we have added a dummy term right now compare one with the standard form of second order linear differential equation y double dash plus p y dash plus q y equal to 0. Okay, homogeneous equation. By comparing these two, we have p equal to 0 and q equal to minus 2 y sine square x. Okay. By comparing these two, we'll get p equal to 0 and q equal to minus 2 by sine square x. Now, see already in the equation, sorry, in the problem, we are given that y equal to cortex is a solution. So, here we won't find the part of complementary function of 1 because we are already given y equal to cortex is a solution, right? Therefore, y equal to cot x is a solution where u equal to cot x. Now, we need to find du by dx that is derivative of u with respect to x which is minus cosecant square x or just write 2 u equal to cot x differentiate on both sides with respect to x. We'll get derivative of u with respect to x equals to derivative of cot x with respect to x is minus cosecant square x. Let y equal to uv be the general solution of 1. See already we are having u but we need to find v right? Then V is given by D square V by DX square plus P plus 2 by U into DU by DX into DV by DX equal to 0. Since our R term is 0, so we will get the RHS part 0. Okay. We are given a homogeneous equation. So, we will use this formula where RHS part is 0 to find V here in this problem. Okay. Fine. Now, substitute P U du by dx in equation 2. We will get d square V by dx square plus P is 0 plus 2 by U is cot x 
into derivative of cot x is minus cosecant square x into dv by dx equal to 0, right? Then d square v by dx is square plus into minus minus 2 by cot x into cosecant square x into dv by dx equal to 0. Let dv by dx equals to capital V. Then d square v by dx is square equal to d capital V by dx. Right? This equation becomes dv by dx minus of 2 by cot x into cosecant square x into v equal to 0. Okay? Now we need to separate the variables so that I'll take the second term to RHS. Then I'll get dv by dx equals to 2 by cot x into cosecant square x into v. Right? Now I'll take this term. Not term. The quotient of v I can say. Now we'll write this in terms of sine and cos. Since we know that cot x can be written as cos x by sin x. Likewise, cosecant x is 1 by sin x. And cosecant square x will be 1 by sin square x, right? Then we can write this as 2 into 1 by just replace cot x with cos x by sin x okay and replace cosecant square x with 1 by sin square x right we can write this as 2 into sin x by cos x into 1 by sin square x right 1 sin x gets cancelled and we will get 2 into 1 by sin x into cos x since we know that sin 2x equals to 2 sin x into cos x, right? Then, 1 by 2 into sin x, sorry, sin 2x will be equal to sin x cos x. Just take this 2 to LHS, we'll get 1 by 2 into sin 2x equals to sin x into cos x. Now, we can replace this sin x into cos x with 1 by 2 sin 2x, right? Then, we'll get 2 into 1 by 1 by 2 into sin 2x. Okay. Which is equal to 2 into 2 by sin 2x. Which is equal to 2 to 4. 4 by sin 2x. Right. Since 2 by cot x into cosecant square x equals to 4 by sin 2x, then the above equation becomes dv by dx equals to 4 by sin 2x into v. Now let's separate the variables 1 by v into dv equal to 4 into 1 by sin 2x into differential dx. We can write this as 1 by v dv equal to 4 into we know that reciprocal of sin 2x is cosecant 2x into dx. Now let's perform integration. Since the variables are separable then integral 1 by v dv equal to 4 integral cosecant 2x into dx. Since we know that integral cosecant ax plus b into dx equal to 1 by a log mod tan of ax plus b by 2 plus some integral constant c then the above equation becomes 
integral 1 by dv is log mod v equal to 4 into integral cos 2x dx. Just compare the integrand cos 2x with cos, sorry, cosecant 2x with cosecant ax plus b. Then for a equals to 2 and b equal to 0, we will get 1 by 2 log mod of tan of a 2x by 2 plus integral constant say c1. Okay, 2x to 2x. Here also 2 2 gets cancelled. Or we can write the above equation as log v equal to 2 log tan x plus see here we are having two terms in terms of log and also we will write c1 constant in terms of log. We will get log c1 here. Right? Then log v equal to since we know that m log n can be written as log n power m. Then we will write 2 log tan x as log tan x whole square plus log c1. Right? Since we know that log a plus log b equal to log a b. Then we will write log of tan x whole square plus log c1 as firstly we will write tan x whole square as tan square x. Okay. Now we will write this as log v equal to log log a plus log b is log a into b or c1 into tan square x. Right? Since we know that if log a equal to log b then a equal to b we'll use this then we'll get v equal to c1 tan square x since we know that capital v is dv by dx just replace v now Now we can separate the variables. In order to separate the variables, we'll take the differential dx to RHS. Then we'll get dv equal to c1 tan square x into dx. Now we can perform integration since the variables are separable. We'll get integral dv equal to c1 integral tan square x dx. Since we know that 1 plus tan square theta equal to secant square theta. Then we'll get, or we can write tan square theta equal to secant square theta minus 1, right? We'll just replace tan square x by secant square x minus 1. Okay? Now we can write RHS part as c1 integral secant square dx minus c1 integral dx. This becomes integral dv is v equal to c1 integral secant square x dx is tan x minus c1 integral x sorry integral dx is x plus integral constant c2. So we got v and already we have u. So by using this formula y equal to u we will write the general solution. Therefore the general solution is given by y equal to u v then y equal to u cot x into v c1 tan x minus c1 x plus c2. This equals to c1 tan x into cot x minus c1 x cot x plus c2 cot x. This equals to c1 tan x into 
we know the cortex is reciprocal of tan x now the next two terms remains the same here tan x gets cancelled then we'll get y equal to c1 minus c1 x cot x plus c2 cot x or we can write this as y equal to just take c1 common from the two terms of lhs okay we'll get c1 times 1 minus x cot x plus c2 cot x this completes a problem so we have seen a problem from reduction of order in this video hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye